Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm refilming this video for some reason. I don't know if I really like the old one um, so much, but I might keep still on like this video. You never know. Um, anyways, today's video, I'm going to be talking about a mental hospital versus a regular hospital. And so it's kind of like what you can't do or what you can do. Also, what the difference is. So let's start off with the mental hospital. Mental hospital, you can't bring any sharps whatsoever. You can bring your phone, but they lock it up till the end of your stay. And um, it depends sometimes. Well, it, it depends on the hospital you go to. Um, I'm not really sure. I've only been to uh, UCLA, um, the hospital over there. Um, I've only been to their hospital. I've been to Cedar sinai but not really. Cedar sinai doesn't have a psych ward, so um, UCLA does. So they, it was a private, it's kind of like a private hospital. I don't think it's public, but then it's like, because it's a little different than you're not being, you're not sharing a room with one person. But the thing is, a mental hospital, if you're talking about mental hospital, there's some mental hospitals that are public that you are sharing a room with maybe two people. So that's a little different. But what I'm talking about, just going to be talking about, like, my side where, like, I heard about, like, I mean, the things that I experienced in the ho mental hospital. Anyways. So you're not gonna bring you're not gonna be sharp, but you can bring your wallet and you can bring your keys, you can bring like belongings there, but they're gonna lock up the stuff that's like that's like dangerous apparently for that like sharps and stuff. And they're just gonna lock up your valuables, which is a good thing. They lock it up and you're safe in your room. Um and so you can bring your phone and your wallet and you just they're not gonna let you have it, you're not allowed to look at it. You're only actually not you see a hospital, you're only allowed to look at your phone to look up numbers so you can call people on their phone. Um so that's a that's a nice thing about that. Um, but this, yeah, so you can't bring sharps or anything. You can't bring strings on. That's why it really sucked one time. I was wearing strings on pants and no one noticed it. And then some patient came up to me. She's like, you're wearing strings. And this time I was like, shh, shh. And the doctor got, then, then, then like one of the nurses found out. I, I'm not going to hurt myself with it. But I'm not, I'm not going to hurt myself with these strings. I'm going to pull strings out of my, my pants and start hurting myself. That's a little weird. That's a little extreme. Um, not weird, but some people really go to that deep end, kind of. But for me, at least, I, I don't, I wouldn't be playing. I don't, why would I ruin my sweater to pull, <laughs> to hurt myself? I'm sorry. Kind of thing like that. Um, but, yeah, I was like, I gotta take it off. Like, they're my favorite pants, and I totally forgot that I was wearing strings. I didn't even know. <laughs> so, um, they don't let you wear any strings. Um, other, you have to take it out if you want to use it. Otherwise, they lock it up in the safe. Um... So you can't wear any string because shoelaces, anything like that. Anything like that, basically. You can't do that. Wear everything else but strings. Um, and then physical hospital, they don't do any of that. You can bring whatever you want. You can bring your jacket. You can bring strings. You can bring wear whatever pajamas you want. I, when I was in the mental hospital, I only wore their pajamas because none of my pajamas have strings. And the ones that don't have strings are not comfortable. So... Some people wear the regular clothes. Like, I'm just like, I'm gonna, like, be in my... The whole time I was in my pajamas because, like, I just... In their hospital pajamas. Because, like, I'm just like, I don't feel like putting on regular clothes if I don't have to. So, I never, I only wore, like, regular clothes on my last day when I left. Because I was leaving. I'm not gonna walk out in pajamas. But, anyways, guys, that's that. And, um, like I said, regular patients in physical hospital, you can wear whatever you want. Bring whatever you want. Of course, you shouldn't be bringing a gun to the hospital. But, you know, logic stuff, you know, like, you can bring, like, nail clippers and stuff like that, like, that you couldn't bring, um, to the hospital. Um, I think they let you use your dehorner, only in the residential. They do, and where I was going, they had, like, they give you shampoo and conditioner. I don't think they give you conditioner, they give you, like, lotion and stuff like that from the hospital. Um, they give you a lot of things, but, like, I don't know if, the, I think the physical hospital, you can get, like, you can get a toothbrush from the nurse, um, and... I'm not, they, I don't think they give out shampoo. Maybe not. Um, to the, I don't know. But I don't know if they give out shampoo or not in a regular hospital. But um, I don't think so. I don't remember. So I don't think they have a shampoo. Uh, but I do. they do give out f toothbrushes. And also they give out toothbrushes in the mental hospital with toothpaste. Um, I remember it's, it's like <laughs> it's tiny toothpaste. They, the people you see later are really great. I liked it there a lot. I, I mean, I don't want to go back because it, it means starting over. Just like going to a regular hospital means starting over your life. It's basically, when you go to a hospital, any hospital, it's like once you leave, you have to start over again. And once you go back, you start over again. It's so annoying with all this treatment. And, oh, pain in the butt. I'm not saying I'm negative about it like it's negative. I'm just saying it's very annoying. It's like you want to move on with your life, but then you, you're back in the hospital. Now you have to 
redo your life basically every single time you end up in any hospital you have to like you have to like it like everything comes back to the where it was before it's it's not it's i don't like it i said i don't want to go to hospital ever again because every single time my life just starts over any hospital it starts over Every time I something starts over, my entire like, problems start over, and it's just like now I have to do all these therapies, now I have to do this. It's just like ah, sorry. Anyways, besides, despite my uh, mood over there, um, yeah. And then in psych ward, you have groups during the day, so you'll have like OT groups, like o- occupational therapy groups, and like um, nursing groups, which is like sometimes talking about illnesses or playing games and stuff like Pictionary or stuff like that. Um, I don't know for regular, yeah, it's only a children's hospital, like, where you're gonna find games and stuff, but if you're in an adult hospital, you're not gonna find games, there's no game room, um, so, in, in, in the hot, in the mental hospital, where I was an adult ward, they, they had, like, a bunch of games you can play with, like, you make friends with your, like, you make friends with people in the hospital, you, you can play games with them, I remember the first time I was there, like, I had, I made, like, a lot of friends there, and, and I always played games with them. It was fun. And then we would watch movies together in their home, in the room. They had like a whole bunch of movies in one in the one um, one unit that I was at. All these movies. We used to like switch and watch movies. I like the first time I went to the hospital. I was the first time I went to the mental hospital. That was like the best time out of everything. Cause I made I made friends over there versus like the other times I barely made friends. Like I had good conversations with people, but I never felt like I could like talk to you by the end of the the hospital experience. Um, but basically you have groups, but regular hospitals don't have groups at all. You're just laying in your bed waiting for the doctor to find out your diagnosis or waiting in your bed because you're sick and you can't go home yet and they have to control, they have to, you have to stay up, stay there because it's, it, it would be really, it would be not okay if you went home if you're not ready to go home basically because you're sick. So that's your stage. It's more like you're waiting for your doctors. Or you're just even like you're not even you're not even you're not you're like non-conscious. Let's say you're not conscious, so you don't even know what's going on, anyways. Um, and then um, yeah, the doctors are just all you do is sit in your bed, get your meds, and then you just you're sitting in your bed the entire time. And if you're not in like so much pain, like if you're able to look at your phone and watch a movie, that's something. But most of these people are in really bad shape or pain, and they some people um don't don't like some people I don't know some people are on their phone and they're able to be on their phone to distract them. So mainly they're just sitting in their bed and occasionally patients can get up and walk. It's when physical therapy, when you get physical therapy in the hospital, patients will get up and walk um, if they can, like help them move their muscles and stuff. But but uh, but usually usually they're not getting up unless like rarely a patient asks if they can. I like if they're not like if they're able if they're not like fall hazard. A patient might ask if they can go downstairs, and also they might be like the the nurse assistant with them or like a family member. That's a little different. But mainly, these patients are not going to groups, so it's not like recovery to the mental. It's more like recovery to the physical health. Like you just have to be in the hospital, be watched, and taken care of. That's what it is. Basically, that's what it is. But a mental hospital is more like you have like all these groups, and also in the physical hospital, people are constantly like they're not they're they're checking on you a lot. In the mental hospital, people are always checking on you every fifteen minutes. If you're in your room, they check on you. They have they open this thing and they see you. They see you in the room. If they don't see you, they come in and they ask, "Oh hi." If you're in the bathroom, you know. Oh, also bathroom. Okay, so in the hot mental hospital that I was in, they had a bathroom, but it didn't have a door on it. It just had like a sh- like a shower curtain, and you would move it. And then also the shower curtain had like this the same thing. So if they don't see you in your room, you would say, "I'm here. I'm in the bathroom." You know. So that you do that, but they're not like gonna be like they're not sitting by you watching you all like, all like all day the entire time. Like they're no one sitting and watching the entire time. They come like every fifteen minutes. And when I was in residential, they came every thirty minutes. And sometimes if you're really on a risk of hurting yourself or something, they're they're they like it's um it's they put you back on fifteen minutes. They check on you. But um. Pretty much, um, that's pretty much it, so, like, but the bathroom was in regular hospitals, they have, like, a lock on it, and you can lock the door, and it's different, but that's different, and then I think I've covered most of it, like I said, um, eating, you still get your meal, everyone gets their meal, except in hospital, you can get your meal, you're getting your meal in your bed, basically, but in your, in the mental hospital, depending on what unit you are, there was one unit that I was able to eat my lunch, my, my dinner at my bedside, just because it was for people that also have, like, physical illnesses, 
I was in that unit one time, um, so I was able to eat my lunch in my bed, um, so that was good, and then, um, cause sometimes I just didn't want to be, like, around anyone, um, but another thing is, um, like I said, but you could, but usually they make you, in other words, they make you sit in the day room, which is where the games are and the movies are, and where, like, all the groups happen kind of thing, so you, they get their, you get your food, you get order stuff, and then you get it, basically. It's kind of like the same thing, but you just have to eat it. Usually, whatever you, it depends on the unit that you're in. Um, if you're on the unit that, like, you have physical, um, like, if you have physical illness, too, um, they let you eat it in your room, but if you have, like, just mental illness, I mean, maybe you have, like, a physical illness, but you were not put into that group, you have to eat in the day room, which is where, like I said, where, like, you go, all the nurses are sitting there, basically. But, yeah, that's pretty much, and basically, also, reading, I always read so much over there, like, I brought, when I, when I, like, the third time, I had, the first time I was in the hospital, I had, like, a hard time reading, because I was just, I was dealing with a lot, and I just had a hard time reading the second time. I don't know about what I read or what. Um, but then the third time, the last time I was there, um, I was I like brought like three books, and and they were all rated three stars. And then they're all not like great books, but when you're ho- you're in the hospital and you don't have your phone, and you just read whatever you bring, you just finish it because there's nothing else to do usually. I mean, it, the groups can get really repetitive once you've been there three times. So it actually really depends. Some of the groups are the same thing that I did. That's why I said just don't even go to the groups. And I wouldn't go to the groups, but because they were just so repetitive, I don't want to learn the exact same thing. So I just be reading in my room. And so I, I, if you ever go to a mental hospital, if you ever, if you end up going to a mental hospital, always bring books with you, because it's very entertaining. And there's nothing to do in the hospital. Like sometimes there's nothing to do. A lot of the time, there's nothing to do in the mental hospital or even in the physical hospital. Bring books with you, but most people in a physical hospital, if they're not like they're they're in pain, but they're using their phone, they're on their phone, so they're not gonna be reading their book. I mean, they might be re- reading their book on their Kindle. It's a little different. So when you're in a mental hospital, it's always great to bring books because even if like you bring a bunch of books, I mean, you just, I brought three books. And they're all from the library, and they all turned out being really not. In, they were like. They were interesting books, but they were, like, dumb, in my opinion. I mean, they were average reads. And so I still, like, read them. I still I still continue reading them because there was nothing. I was like, I'm just going to finish it. There's nothing else to do anyway, so let's just finish it. But in, if I was at my home, and I would have never finished those books. I'd be like, I'm stopping this book. This is so boring and, like, not interesting and not not going anywhere. So, but those, I read three books. I read, like, a graphic novel. I read this other two mental health books. And they're all not that great books. Um, they all, like, weren't great, and, and, like, I was starting off this one book at my house, I'm like, how am I gonna read this? I just brought it with me randomly, I don't know why, but I ended up reading it, because there's nothing else to do, basically, but the, depending on the unit, some units have books, some units don't, so anyways, guys, that's pretty much an overview of what, like, what to expect, um, in a mental hospital, just, like, be careful, like, I don't know, like, I just, I think I, ex- I like, I think I, like, I don't know, but I'm saying, like, yeah, it's basically, you can't get breakfast at a certain time, I guess, like, it's the same thing as physical hospital, you can get, like, they give you breakfast at a certain time, um, but, and you're not allowed to, of course, you're not allowed to handle your own medications, I mean, they, they have to give it to you, I don't know, like, physical hospital, they, they give it to you, um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, basically, that's the difference, basically, okay, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making this, because it's, it's a topic that, I really deal with, which, like I said, if you ever go, if you're ever in a mental hospital or you're in a physical hospital, just remember that you're in good hands and you're and you're gonna get help, and this is a great place to be, um, for recovery. And even though it seems like, it's like makes you tired more tired. Like in your physical hospital, they're constantly waking you up, so um sometimes. Um, so, like, but still remember that like you're in a safe place and there's no there's no way there's no point of getting mad because you're just in a good place and you're getting taken care of and you're privileged to even be taken care of by a lot of people that are professional and educated in this type of scenario scenario or whatever not scenario whatever you get what I mean guys but anyways just saying just remember that and also think about mental hospitals I don't I haven't been I've only been to one mental hospital so all the other mental hospitals may be different than what I just said but this is just based off of uh, UCLA's psychiatric hospital. 
Um, but just remember, it's not a jail. Everyone thinks that mental hospitals are super scary and whatever. The one that I was in, at least no one was scary. I mean, there are interesting people there, which is very fun all the time because you just see different people and different personalities and different disorders and stuff like that. It's interesting, but it's not a jail at all. There's nothing to be scared of. It's not scary, but there are other institutions where there are scary ones, but I, I thank God I have never been put in any of them. I've been very privileged to receive UCLA's help, which was, UCLA is one of the best places, also best school, in my opinion. I, I really, my dream would be to go there, honestly. I don't know. Weird dream. <laughs> Just because they have a hospital, that's why. Because <laughs> they care for a lot of people. Anyways, guys, okay, see you in my next video. Bye.